Hi everybody, this is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. In my today's session, let me discuss about the third type of agents, which are goal-based agents. They choose their actions in order to achieve goals. Now, what is the differentiating factor of these goal-based agents compared to the previous two types of agents which we have discussed earlier? Goal-based agents always they will generate the actions based on certain goals they will keep in mind some goals and based on that goals they will perform the actions goal based approach is more flexible than reflex agent since the knowledge supporting a decision is explicitly modeled thereby allowing for modifications so he see here if the agent is keeping a particular goal then targeting that goal and based on that goal producing the actions is quite easy okay because which if he if a particular agent is having a goal in mind then the mapping of percepts to actions will be having a lot of success that's what this uh, goal based agents will have an advantage compared to the previous two types of agents okay next thing what is actually the meaning of goal here it is the description of desirable situations we don't know what may happen just we are keeping one goal in our mind and based on that goal what we are doing we are planning our actions now that goals are nothing but the description of desirable situations the goal which we have kept is the desirable one which we want to achieve okay and maybe the goal may be achievable or sometimes the goal may be not be achievable it is not guaranteed but by keeping in mind that particular goal by keeping in mind that desirable situations we are going to plan our percepts to actions mapping okay this what our goal based agents do so let me clear this one with the help of this diagram here now we can see here dear students this is as usual environment agent okay and sensors they will take they will sense the percepts and then they will generate the actions through effectors this is common but here we got one more thing here what are the two extra things that have been added here in goal based agent this is one thing okay what happens if i do action a okay and then what then the condition action rule has been eliminated here so based on that what we call here we got here goals okay this is the thing that have been added here so a goal based agent while performing any type of action always keep in mind that if an agent will do this action whether the goal is achievable or not if the goal is not achievable what an agent may do it may go to another action action b and it may perform that action that's all so the straightforward working of goal based agents is by keeping in point the goals that have been set by the agent the agent will decide whether through action a the goal is achievable or whether through action b the goal is achievable or through action c the goal is achievable we don't know whether which act from which action the goal is achievable the only work the goal based agent will do is it will try the different actions to achieve the goal this is how the goal based agent works so with this let me close my today's session see you soon everyone take care allah hafiz